how does animal agriculture, the raising of animals to be eaten, that means beef, chicken, minced cows, chickens, turkeys, pigs, um, milk from cows, eggs, how does the, the, all this animal agriculture affect our water supply? Uh, well, uh, agriculture is the biggest user of water. Um, in the U.S., it's by far the biggest, although energy is a other, another big user of water. Um, meat production, to get a calorie out of meat, takes 10 times as much water as it does for a vegetable a calorie. So if you look at uh, anything, you have to think that this piece of meat or... Uh, animal product T takes ten times as much as much water as a vegetable product. Um, why is that? The reason is all of those animals had to eat vegetables in the first place, and they have to eat a lot. And then they're not efficient in converting those calories from the crops, the grains, into meat calories. So it's way more efficient from a water perspective um, to eat uh, vegetarian, and that's a gigantically effective way to reduce the amount of water all of us are consuming every day because the number is actually quite large. It's uh, over 2,000 gallons each of us consumes every day. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think you covered that really well. I'll just add, um, especially with animal agriculture, I mean, you're talking about um, also a very concentrated system of impact on a local or regional water supply. So not only is it using phenomenal amounts of water in the aggregate, but in the local context or regional context, uh, it can be chewing up the entire water supply. So in California, where we've had um, epic drought <laughs> going on for rough, you know, most of the past decade with a few interruptions, um, you know, a lot of attention got paid on, uh, you know, went to uh, almonds as the, the big culprit. And, and they are a problem in, the, in, in terms of the nut family. <laughs> but, um, you know, clearly beef and dairy uh, and other animal products are the largest consumers of water, users of water. The other uh, piece of that puzzle is the processing of all of this food product takes immense amounts of water as well. So not only do you get, do you get it, you know, huge water waste in the raising of these animals and these huge concentrated uh, feeding operations, you know, y y again, they can also decimate the area's um, water table and lead to depletion of aquifers. Uh, so there are huge effects like that, to say nothing of all the water pollution as well, which perhaps we can get into later. But I think, I think it's worth... Just I think it's worth commenting also that um, the, the manner in which we feed animals um, is al also contributes to the use of water. Uh, if we're feeding, if we're growing 100 million acres of corn, 95% of which is not edible for humans, um, but about half of that is going into either the fuel industry so that it can go into our cars or it's going toward livestock feeding, we're now using immense amounts of water in completely different parts of the country we're using water from other states um, to grow crops that are then shipped to areas where the animals are being fed that food. Um, and it is not even the food that those animals normally would eat. Um, so if you think about uh, cows being a sort of a evolved around eating grass, but we're now feeding them corn, but we're having to grow the corn, and we have to grow the corn in other areas where corn is grown because the climate's appropriate for corn. Um, and we need all the resources there, soil, pesticides, water, herbicides, you name it. Um, it's it's the, the impacts of this kind of food production goes way beyond just the use of water. It goes, it, it reaches into a, a large number of aspects of our, of our culture and it dominates the, um, the agricultural industry. Maybe one short thing. I would also add, just add that water pollution factors into uh, the water supply. So the use of water, of course, we've all been talking about, but it's also relevant to think in all the ways that the animal agriculture sector pollutes our waterways and the groundwater systems, which then depletes our actual water supply. Yeah, just 
just to follow up on uh, that point, some of the worst um, uh, waterborne illness cases have come from animal agriculture uh, that have, uh, well, around the world, hundreds of people die on a regular basis from that kind of pollution. Thank <laughs> you.